gather together, all awaiting a match that will go down forever in Galar history. The Bane Challenger versus the unbeatable champion. Expectations are high after their previous battle was interrupted before it could even begin. Charizard. So today we're asking ourselves the important question. Does this challenger have what it takes to finally break Leon's astonishing winning streak?
stepping onto the field. He's the winner of the Galar Champion Cup on his first attempt. He's the greatest career in all of Galar. He's the unbeatable champion. It's Nick! So tell me how you'll save that Pokémon. What can you do, Lily? You don't even have the strength of a trainer. I don't have any children. Certainly not any wretched children who would run off and reject my love! <gasps> what ugly behavior. wormhole and take on the Pokémon that would steal our light. I will capture even poor Necrozma. Please! Stop! my mother. Nebby, please. I need to go to where my mother is. We want to protect Alola, 
But there's no need for her to try to catch Necrozma all on her own. An ultra wormhole? Mother! Did it woke, it flew into a rage and repelled everything that came near it. Mother! I've waited so long, kept my silence so no one could piece together what I've planned. The truth is this. I couldn't become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokémon myself, so I found someone for that purpose. A warped boy who knew nothing but Pokémon. Legend and Team Plasma's king.
I encouraged N to pursue ideals so that his heart burned with a desire to improve the world. Then we could seize the minds of the people. Hey, what do you think's going on over there? I don't know. Let's go check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. I would like to talk to all of you about the liberation of all Pokémon. Pokémon are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Now, what is our responsibility towards these wonderful Pokémon? That's right! We must liberate the Pokémon! Only then will humans and Pokémon be truly equal! the test. Could he be the hero who reawakens the legendary Pokémon? Trainer of all, accompanied by his legendary Pokémon, has battled the champion and won. <gasps> Please, don't separate people from Pokémon, I beg you! Forget your destiny and always follow your heart, for your spirit is good, pure, and innocent. And there is nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. It's time. Yes, I've waited so long, but those painful days are at an end. My perfect plan is nearly complete. Team Plasma will fan out and liberate every single Pokémon from every single person, and then release them all into the world in order to rule it utterly. Ah yes, you have obtained the Lightstone. If you truly desire to keep the world as it is, you must battle our king. 
Go onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Zekrom, come to me! what the world will be mine Toughest ever. Tough enough to challenge my dad. What? 
do it. Are you finished? You really thought you could beat Team Galactic? Dream on, kid. You won't get away with this! Maybe I'm never gonna be tough enough to beat my dad. Hey, don't start the party without me. If it isn't the little boy who ran off crying, think you're tougher now? I'm here to get my revenge! battle. Now you've beaten me. Who are you gonna beat next? Son. Five minutes! Centuries ago, the people of Ekrutik City built two towers, nine tiers each, reaching high up into the sky. The Bell Tower and the Brass Tower. The towers attracted two legendary Pokémon Guardians. Ho-Oh, Guardian of the Skies. Guardian of the Seas. <laughs> Ho-Oh rested atop the Bell Tower, but the Brass Tower was the roost of the legendary Lugia. The people would commune with the Pokémon, and a harmonious friendship grew between them. 
Until one fateful night, 150 years ago, as the tower was bathed in moonlight. But then Lugia's peaceful rest was disturbed by the tumult of a lightning storm. The storm grew, the sky filled with lightning, the city shook with the sound of thunder. Until a tremendous thunderbolt came down and struck the tower. Setting the lofty spire ablaze. Until it became a mighty inferno. Then Lugia flapped its wings and summoned a powerful wind to extinguish the fire. But the fire threatened to spread to the rest of the city. So Lugia called for rain, and the skies above Ecritique City answered. The rain battled with the fire, fighting back the flames until the fire was vanquished. After that dreadful night, a new day dawned with the morning sun. Overcome by the destruction the fire had wrought, Lugia fled. Hiding in the ocean's depths, awaiting the call of someone pure of heart before it can return to Ecritik City. To this day, the ruins of the burned tower remain as a reminder of what was lost and what will be again.
I need to reclaim the legendary Pokémon's power and send it to that weapon once again. Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. Uh, youth may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything changes. I would make this world unchanging and eternal. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Pokémon shall no longer exist. Yes, that's one possibility. But it doesn't mean it's true. Carlos is beautiful right now. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. I don't expect that I will ever make you understand how I think and feel. The original purpose of this device was to give life, not take it. There's not much power left, but there is enough to use it once. I shall grant you eternal life. I'll give you the pain of endlessly waiting for a beautiful world to finally be built! region is shocked by the news of the last week. So today, I'd like to share a moment with Lysander from a different time. Pokemon trainers, listen well. The future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the one before. You have the potential to change the world. Help build a brighter tomorrow. Adieu.
So, you came for me. I thank you for that. Since you've been good, I'll give you something I've been keeping for this very occasion. Look there. The painting shows tales passed down by my ancestors, the Draconids. And now the time has come for me to pass that lore on to you. Last millennia, a huge meteoroid impacted on the surface of the planet. The land cracked. Natural energy poured out from deep beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for that bounty of power, two legendary Pokémon Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon fought in a series of endless, furious clashes. People could only watch as disaster upon disaster swept over them. So, they made a wish for salvation. That Rayquaza, the legendary Pokémon, would appear, clad in emerald light. This wish was able to bring people and Pokémon together, enabling the legendary Pokémon to completely change its appearance! Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre vanished into the depths of land and sea. Peace returned to the world. <laughs> My people constructed this great tower to hold the Rainbow Stone that had granted Rayquaza its power. They foretold that a meteoroid would fall on this land again. One far greater than those that had come before. Great enough to break the world forever. I spent a long time thinking about how I, someone who holds both the knowledge and the power, could protect as many people as possible. And that brings us to the end of our tale. Welcome to the Dragon Hark Altar. The show is about to start. Ever since I was a little girl so full of uncertainty that I felt my heart might be completely crushed by it, I've always turned my eyes up to the endless sky above. Now you know what I'm trying to do. I intend to use the Mega Evolution Keystones I've acquired to summon Rayquaza in order to destroy the meteoroid headed for Hoenn. That is my solemn duty. If something happens to me, please, 
Take this little one. All right then. Here I go. With a pure, bright, and borrowed might. I summon the Red Blazer! Great Rayquaza, hear my wish! Show me your true face! Hey! Come on, please, show me! Without enough power is you, Rayquaza? How can this be? <laughs> that meteorite, it's just like a mega stone. Seems that our great protector, Rayquaza, chose you and has forsaken me. The only one who can direct it now is you. I thank you. It's time now for my final duty as the last lore keeper of my people. Since I was a little girl, I've always turned my eyes up to the endless sky above.
here to catch that crazy strong Pokemon, huh? <gasps> yeah, well not if I can catch it first. I'm gonna catch it first. <laughs> 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 Nice work. I'm sure it's that Pokémon. But we're not the only trainers here, you know. I'll be the one to catch it.
Here, you can have these. <gasps> Why don't you and you two both become my Pokémon? Huh? <laughs> well, you think about it, okay? I tried to catch Mewtwo, but somebody beat me to it. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't finish the Pokédex. Perhaps not. But you did well. Just look at your Pokémon. The bond you share is marvelous, and you've found so many. With all the data you've gathered, you've really been helping my studies. And besides, you weren't doing it all alone. You were a part of a much larger community, Green. <laughs> A world of dreams and adventures. Challenges and discovery. Of trainers and Pokémon. And now, thanks to all of you, I finally fulfilled my dream. The Pokédex is complete. Oh, pardon me. This is Professor Oak. How can I help you? Why, hello, my boy. What's that? <laughs> a Pokémon entirely made of metal? What a discovery! Okay, okay, talk to you again. Did you hear that? The Pokédex isn't complete just yet. There are still more Pokémon out there to catch! Uh... Thank <laughs> you.